Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. So yeah, I'm at a weird angle and um, if things look a little bit off it's because I'm filming on my phone again. Um, uh, I tried to upload some pictures onto my computer from my camera and it's not letting me. Um, so I don't, I think it's something to do with the charger and it's just not fitting in properly. Um, I don't know. There's there's just something wrong with it, so I can't upload any uh, pictures or videos from my camera to my computer. Uh, so I am filming on my phone, which I don't like to do. Um, it looks like I'm looking out into space here, but anyway, um, I'll hopefully get it sorted out. Um, but uh, over the past few weeks, uh, Winners Home Sense Marshalls has been getting a lot of Halloween and fall merchandise in. And uh, I've been slowly kind of collecting things along the way. So I will go over uh, some of that stuff. I got candles, body care, home decor, and clothes and that. I am um, getting ready for fall. So I'll start with the first uh, uh, cup here. And yeah, God knows I don't need any more uh, coffee cups. Uh, but this one is really cute. It's uh, a Ray Dunn one, I believe. And yes, it says uh, poison and um, has this kind of 3D uh, goop dripping down it. Um, so yes, I, uh, I love the lime green against the, the black there. And I uh, also, um, any time of the year, I like collecting tea light holders, votive hold holders, and lighting them up and uh, just having that in, in a dark room. Um, it just I just really love that effect. So I did uh, purchase this spider, and it does have a, a little opening in the back for a uh, tea light. And um, yeah. That's one thing, I don't mind spiders. Snakes, I can't take snakes. I, I don't mind spiders. And then, oh, I uh, did purchase this fellow. And yeah, I just love him. He looks so pagan and uh, I just love him. Um, yeah, he's uh, looks like he's like carved out of wood and, and, and has the leaves as accents and that. Then he's got a little uh, very fallish display on top of his head here. So what I might do is, um, you can sort of see some of that foam there, I might um, just on the bottom put some moss or some greenery just around there to cover that up a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, I just, I just love the serene look on his face. Um, just like a little forest god there. I love him. He looks so cute. And then, um, I'll probably put him on the fireplace mantle and then beside it I'll put um, this uh, colored uh, wheat. I just absolutely love that color for the fall, that deep, rich, orangey, uh, rust color. just really, really like that. Alrighty, and then, um, oh, one more thing for, oops. Um, so years ago, I bought um, some candle holders, the tapered candles from White Rose. So that's going way back. And it had um, the wheat kind of tied up in a sheath um, with the little tapered candle at the top. And um, yeah, I really like those. And uh, I found these ones. And uh, so yeah, it's just the wheat tied up there. And they're uh, for tea lights. So I thought that would look really pretty lit up on in the dark there. And then, oops, get that out of the way. There we go. Um, and I also bought these towels. Uh, I don't really have a lot of fall towels, but um, yeah, mushrooms are kind of making a comeback now in home decor. Uh, they were big back in the 70s, I remember that. Um, but I did buy these towels with the fall leaves and the uh, mushrooms on it. And I do have some towels that have that kind of orange and also the red kind of color to go with these. And then I 
I don't buy paper towels very often. I don't use them a lot. If I have to pick up some bird poop around the house or if I have to wipe up off some dishes before I wash them, I'll use a paper towel. And that's usually the only time. Um, for just general cleaning and everything, I, I use alternatives to um, paper towels. And I do have a lot of uh, bamboo uh, towels uh, that I use, and they're um, sustainable resource. Uh, bamboo grows like a foot a day. Um, but I found these ones, and uh, this is 100% cotton flannel, and they're 20 reusable kitchen towels. And they had little mushroom designs on them. And so these, uh, actually I'm using, I used one this morning cleaning up the kitchen. So they're about that size and that's after I've uh, washed them. And they get softer and absorb better the more you wash them. And um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, these will last me for, I actually bought a package for upstairs and one package for downstairs. And yeah, they just have these cute little mushroom designs and they have these little chuck designs. But yeah, they're just um, perfect for cleaning up and I just throw them in the wash and yeah, um, they will last me forever and I'm not buying paper towels all the time. And I did buy some candles. Uh, I haven't bought DW candles for quite a while now in the stores, but I did find this one from the Cafe Creation line, and I do really enjoy the Cafe Creation line. I find them, they burn fairly well. Sometimes they take a while to pull out, like any DW candle, but I usually find them, they throw fairly well, and I really love the scents, because they're all kind of, cough. most of them are like coffee scents. So I did get the Cafe Creation French Vanilla Latte, and this, um, they always have a different design for each scent um, on the lid. And they are two wick. And yeah, it smells like a French vanilla latte. Um, I really like those ones. And then the other candle, where did you go? Is a DW candle. And this one is the 8 ounce, 8.8 ounce, 35 hour burn. And this is in Mushroom Forest. And look at the lid, it's got the little mushrooms on it. Now this one, very unique smelling. Oh, I really like this one. It's, um, it almost like uh, has a juniper, maybe cypress kind of scent to it. It's just a very bright, it's, it's not evergreen necessarily, but it's just a very bright, crisp, uh, clean kind of greenery scent. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, this one just has the one wick. Um, so we'll see how it how it goes there. And then um, I did buy some soap and some scrubs. Now, I love green apple scents and you can't always find them. So I found this um, pan soap by Body Prescriptions and it's Poison Apple. And that's the label. It even has this little old-fashioned key hanging there. And it smells like green apples. I just love that scent. Um, so yeah, I thought that was a really cute little design for uh, Halloween. And then I did find some body scrubs. Now this, um, I used to watch a lot of the hauls from um, TJ Maxx, uh, which is um, winners up here in Canada. And um, they're uh, Marshalls and they always had these onyx body lotions and scrubs and I could never find them up here uh, but they did pop up and they they all have two different colors to them and this is a kind of fall Halloween uh, set they had out and this is by onyx bathhouse and this is creep on creeping and this is in pumpkin oh, pu pumpkin spice latte so whoops so yeah, they have uh, the orange scrub and then a green scrub, so they're very pretty to look at. They're not the strongest though, I have to say that. They're not the strongest. I did try one um, in the shower the other night, Spooky Spiced Chai, and yeah, it wasn't that strong. Um, it, it really 
exfoliated well. The granules, um, I mean, they weren't overly rough, but they're kind of a medium texture. Uh, they didn't leave that kind of slimy, greasy feel to your skin, but it really did soften up and um, smooth the skin. Uh, but they're, they're not the strongest. Um, there's one that was a little stronger than the others. I can't remember which one now. But I mean, you can smell it, but it's not as strong as some other uh, other scrubs. But yeah, they're cute little labels, and I love the colors that they have. And the other one is the Spooky Chide, oh, sorry, Spooky Spiced Chai. They also had um, an apple cider scent. They had a marshmallow scent. And then the last one I got was the Bad Witch Vibes, and this is in apple cider brew so again it has the the green scrub and then the purple scrub so they're really fun fun colors and the last body scrub i got was from body prescriptions and this is spice up your life pumpkin spice coffee salt scrub and it's in the shape of this little pumpkin latte coffee cup and Again, this one's, this one's a little bit light. I do find the body prescription um, scrubs a little bit light. It might come out a little bit more when it's in like the warm shower, warming up there. But yeah, it's, it's pretty light. Um, but yeah, I thought that, whoop, I'm not gonna pop on there, but I thought that uh, little packaging was really cute. Alrighty, and then um, I did find some new face masks. Um, they did have Annie's Way there, um, but I do have quite a few, but I do like that brand. But they had this new brand out, um, it's Korean, and I just absolutely love the packaging. Uh, it's just like a work of art. Uh, so there's uh, five masks in here uh, for $7.99, and um, yeah, I really did like the ingredients when I was uh, reading the package there. Um, but they had that one, and they had uh, this one here. So yeah, just gorgeous packaging. And then, um, I don't think I've tried this company, Mask Lab. This is also Korean, and this is ASIA Berry. Um, and again, uh, I did like the... Um, ingredients in here and these don't expire till 2026 um, so um, good long shelf life uh, for those ones and then last but not least I did get some uh, clothing and uh, I found this green sweater and oh, it looks different in the camera but anyway um, did get this uh, green sweater. It was uh, $14.99, and it's by it says it's by uh, American Eagle, and it's a cable knit sweater. Um, has a fairly deep V, so I have to wear a T-shirt or something underneath, and it's got a hood. Um, it's very soft, um, but I thought for $14.99 it was pretty good. And I do love wear wearing dresses in the summertime. I find them, whoops, oh my god, I think I flipped on everything right now, just a second, oh, hang on, I got hooked on things, um, I find them a little cooler than uh, shorts and that, um, especially when there's a nice breeze, it gets up there and, and airs out your Pikachu, and we, God knows, you got to air out the Pikachu, and um, yeah, and I just, I just like, flowy dresses in the summertime. I don't wear a lot of dresses in the fall and winter. I just don't have an occasion to wear a dress. Um, but I saw this one hanging up and I thought, you know what, that would look really nice in the fall with a jean jacket. Um, and uh, this one goes uh, right down to uh, my ankle, so it's full length. It's by Kate Lilly. And um, I've seen other dress, I've bought another dress by Kate Lilly, which I really, really liked. I like her designs. And this one, it's nice and fitted on top. Uh, probably someone who wants my money. Um, but it's fitted on top and then it just drapes all the way down to the floor. The, it's, it's a sheer material. 
but the skirt is lined. But I thought it would look so nice with the jean jacket. And also, have a good day. Thanks. Thanks. See, no one. Um, but I do have sweaters also in this uh, kind of orange rust color. I have um, those long sweaters that kind of go down to your your knee in that. So I thought that'd be uh, quite nice for the the fall. And then I did buy a pair of corduroys. Uh, yes, oh, corduroys were big in what the seventies or something. Wore those a lot. Um, but yeah, I'd love. The fall colors, wearing the fall colors, the deep reds, the currants, the uh, dark oranges, the rust. I just love those colors for the fall. And I found these corduroys, and they actually are the wide, all the way down, they're wide. And uh, they, these ones just fit like a glove. I, I just, it's hard to find a pair of pants because my legs are short, and if half of them are too long, or the waist is big, and snug at the hip or vice versa um, but these ones really really fit well and I just absolutely love the color I have a lot of light cream colored shirts and sweaters that would just go so nicely with these um, but yeah I just I just love that color um, alrighty so that's my little fall haul oh yeah I just just the colors the smells the decor I just falls where it's at I tell you um so anyway that's it um I hope uh you can find some real fun goodies out there it's just yeah it's um so I'm going to go I have to go out and um go on a hike with the pups uh I thought I'd better do this video first because if I went out for a hike first in the video I would look like a hot melted puddle um so anyway, that's what I'm going to do. Get a bite to eat and take the girls out. So everyone, enjoy the day. Um, enjoy the rest of the summer. Uh, fall's just around the corner. And uh, everyone take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.